and elevate your mind. We came to rock the spot. Rock the spot. Sit. I think it'll, like it would be more fun to talk about what niggas not going on that list than the people who <laughs> get <laughs> on there. <laughs> Shit, who, 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 who's absolutely missing that fucking top four? Big Sean, Wale. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sorry, they know a lot Meek of Mill, so definitely. <laughs> definitely Meek. Meek Mill, definitely Meek. Um, what about Nipsey Hussle? Where's Nipsey Hustle for sure is missing it. I am sorry <laughs> to everyone out there, bro. I, yo, Nipsey, Nipsey's missing the top four. Nipsey's <laughs> missing the top five. Nipsey's missing the top twenty. Nipsey's missing the top fucking thirty. Nigga, I, we could go all the way back to twenty fucking fifteen, and Nipsey's still missing the fucking <laughs> shit. I'm sorry, bro. Y'all, Nigga, you y'all, get your like, ass there's some people that go to California talking records about Nipsey like that. Hey, bro, that's Don't let no Cali that's how it is, bro. bro. I rather, you know, has an heartbeat. That's that's fine, bro. I'd rather get my ass whooped for, for, for honesty than fucking than be praised for fucking lies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nipsey Hustle. What, what what Nipsey Hustle was not making waves way, way back in the day, bro. Let's go back fucking five years ago. What were you thinking about Nipsey Hustle at any point in the in, in the year of 2016? The only thing I Hell know about no. Nipsey, bro, this is um this is movie that the that Bone Thugs and Harmony has called uh, I Tried, <laughs> and Nipsey played a role in that movie. That's the only time I've seen him. <laughs> oh, other than it's a still a freestyle. Like, there we... But actually, no, he was that was a fucking silhouette. They had him blacked out <laughs> in that freestyle. You can't even see exactly, him. Exactly, bro. What, oh, what, what was exactly, one part he said bro. in that freestyle? I hated this shit. It was some black part he said. Uh, Something about Fortnite. Yeah. What, uh, y'all niggas too weak, like three days, four nights. <laughs> I think that's what it was. <laughs> like, bro, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's what it was. Y'all niggas week like three days and four nights. <laughs> that's not even a whole week, bro. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there you but go. That, that's that's, your, that's, that's your, the bars. That's your, that's, there you go, yo. That's that's y'all four right there, huh? And I just Fuck listened to here. a song by him and Kirk Bangs called uh Yeah, I said Kirk Bangs. Kirk Bangs. <laughs> Hey, uh, put him on that list. That uh, that top four list. Yeah, he can be in my work for a conversation. <laughs> Kirk <Cobain> there. Hell no. Nah. The song was that called be, uh, yeah. "Down as a Great." I believe it was like I want to go fuck? down as a legend. Down as a great. Kirk Bangs and Nipsey. That's what it was. <laughs> if Kirk Bangs on the top four, that means uh, everyone on the planet got eradicated. <laughs> <laughs> that means we all got fucking sent to the fucking to the aliens, getting probed and shit. It must be him. Little twist, uh, fucking Diggy Simmons and fucking uh, <laughs> <laughs> Diggy Simmons. Simmons and that fucking that kid, uh, the kid that tried to run for double XL two years ago. Uh, Kaden, <laughs> Kaden, <laughs> Kaden, because they're a little Tay in that bitch. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Big Clint in there, oh. <laughs> Big Clint, <laughs> not a girl. Stutter girl, fucking uh, <laughs> run. <laughs> Who's that man? <laughs> that nigga, is that one nigga that couldn't stand still during his shit, bro? Fucking uh, hot locked, hot in. locked in. <laughs> 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 Yeah, hey, man, walking back and forth talking about so, you know what I'm saying? The bitch is hopping on my dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Paranoid ass nigga, dude. I'm saying, bro, like this nigga, yo. That's that sad shit, bro. That's that fucking sad shit. And actually, that's a good segue into uh, this next topic uh, that, you know what I'm saying, you you said you wanted to speak on the fucking hood shit, bro. Mm. Um, that's so the just topic that fuck- Culture is talking about, he had made a video saying how rappers are, like, the most targeted group in terms of, like, pretty much violence and crimes and shit. And then I this what made me, <clears throat> watching that video, what I had thought about was that one thing that people like when it comes to music is uh what's what I'm looking for? Authenticity, like like the realness behind yeah. someone's music, especially when it comes mm-hmm. to rap music. But the thing is, when it comes to gangster rap, it's like gangster rap and like thug rappers. That's that's like the only subgenre to where it's kind of messed up. Where if you if you enjoy the song more, if you realize the rapper is really rapping what he's talking about. Like if you hear a nigga rapping about you know, like on some raw wave shit. Hearing nigga rapping about coming from the struggle, him and his family didn't have a lot of money. He barely ate all that kind of shit. And you, 
you like watch some type of movie or watch some type of listen to some type of interview from the rapper and you find out he was telling the truth, you'd be like, damn, he really rapping about how he used to live. Like that's fucked up. Something like that will make you like him more because you know he actually rapping the shit he used to live. But when it comes to gangster rap, hearing the niggas talk about rapping, I mean, excuse me, uh, robbing and killing other niggas, and you find out he was really doing that shit, and that makes you like him more, that's kind of fucked up. Like, that's what culture is getting at. Like, when it comes yeah. to gangster rap, why does, why does that make you like the song or like the rapper more when you find out he really a fucking criminal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga, actually, that nigga actually beat his fucking girlfriend last night. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's real shit. This song just went from like shit top twenty in discography, probably number one off that. <laughs> first things first, before I even get to start talking about shit, bro. You need every time I hear niggas talking about something when Raw Wave wasn't eating, like, damn, when was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why you giggle when I said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? That boy. <laughs> you think Raw Wave looked like a sad pit bull nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see him, I see him going back and forth with some nigga on Twitter talking about some. I was gonna bring this up during the Chica shit, but uh, I bring it up now. Fucking, um, he was talking to some nigga on Twitter, and it, it, the fan was talking about, uh, like, uh, uh, no, Rodway was like, y'all niggas don't want me to talk about uh, my come up. That's on y'all. Don't y'all have to listen. Mm-hmm. And someone was like, uh, someone was like, bro, it was like you could actually rap, you live as shit, but why we gotta listen to your ass cry on every track? It was like, uh, it was like, surely you have something else to talk about. He was like, he was like, nigga, he was like, uh, if you, again, if you don't want to listen, you ain't got to listen to this shit, bro. Like, it's other niggas out there talking about the shit that you want them to talk about. I want to talk about the shit that I want to talk about. He was like, nigga, all you want to talk about is your struggles. Like, you rich now. Like, what, why are you, why are you still, how are you still? We don't already heard like two albums worth Yeah, of bro. <laughs> I came up, I ain't have to shut shit in the fridge last night. Uh, but I had like, quoted one of them tweets too because I seen that yeah I was like this nigga really can't handle somebody saying they don't want to hear that struggle rap no more yeah bro I think I got it from I think it, I, can't, I got that shit from you as a matter of fact but uh um you need to look it, up uh, Rod Waves um his what uh what I do freestyle on SXL this nigga had a horrible ad lib you don't gotta listen to the every time I, I don't want you to look up like the ad lib he said at the very beginning for the people listening to this look up xxl ride wave freestyle but keep scrolling until you come across the the what i do freestyle not his regular you know 2020 shit this was uh what was this this was december 2018 so yeah, he was down bad at that point but when you hear his ad lib you're gonna be like Ugh. like i'm so glad i've never heard him say this shit since then <laughs> man, he looks like a sad dog. I think it was Every a gun ad lib. It was some shit like he was like, "What's up, my ride way?" It was some bullshit like that. <laughs> you got, but you got to pull that shit up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look that shit up afterwards. But fucking the the hood shit. Um, I generally oh, you already know, know you already know my hand, man. I already pulled it up, bro. Hold on, let me <laughs> let me <laughs> let me let me pull it. Let me let me let me know if you can hear this shit, bro. Florida, they watch a double XL. <laughs> yeah. I know that nigga tears shook so much. That that is like no fucking gun at me. That's like <laughs> like I'm cold. <laughs> I'm freezing. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's your man's though. What? I don't yeah, even know man, how we got off roasting that nigga like that. <laughs> we tweet yeah, no, too fucking fluent and roasting never... niggas that we'd be forgetting what we was talking about before. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the uh, hood topic. It was the gangster Oh, right, right, right. Uh, I think it's because rap fans, like look, all, they like authenticity, bro. They like when like a nigga is making a song about some shit he actually did, even if it's some wild shit like killing somebody. That's fucking sad to me. Like I said before uh, we did this, when we started doing this episode, um, it generally looks like a bunch of people like back in the day where the gladiators used to fight and shit, the people will be happy to see the fucking some one person surviving, the other mm-hmm. nigga fucking guts and fucking, you know what I'm saying, organs splattered all over the ground and shit. Got a whole spear That's how that, through his chest. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's how that shit looks. Y'all, y'all out here getting happy hearing about motherfuckers being killed and shit. Y'all talking about some free take a. And y'all know Tay K is somebody. the first nigga I thought about. I was just about to break up the race as an example. 
the reason that song is so popular and the reason niggas like it is because this nigga really made a song about running from the police while he was running from the police. And that's just sad, dude, because it's like, damn, that's some real life shit. And y'all go on fucking Twitter all day long. Like, I'm about to get real deep with this shit. Y'all be on Twitter talking about canceling niggas that kill other motherfuckers conveniently, the motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talk about y'all, y'all talk about some cancel this motherfucker. He killed him. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Y'all need to catch him. Y'all are literally telling uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the fucking government and the these police to free Tay K for killing some innocent people. Y'all want YNW Melly free for killing two innocent people. Y'all want these niggas free for killing motherfuckers. Y'all want you they, they are they could they could literally show you the video of these niggas actually shooting the motherfuckers and y'all still be like, damn, they deserve it. Free my niggas so I can get this. Like, y'all want them to do this <laughs> shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all say free these niggas so you could get an album out of these niggas so you could get, so you could why in, why, you know what I'm saying? Why be in the mirror of these niggas later so you could be tired of them when they not making the shit that you want them to make. And me and like, you bro, both know the reason, the only reason why is because uh, <clears throat> it's not something that's personally affecting them. Like, the rapper didn't go to jail for killing their cousin or something because you know the damn well if they did you want that nigga to write in prison for the rest of his life. If somebody kills, like, your fucking, like, sister or something, it was, it was a rapper. And, bro, imagine being, the, like you said, um, in the, in the, uh, actually, nah, actually, I think this was something we was talking about before recording, but, uh, something you had mentioned was that it feels terrible for the victim that's actually going through that shit. Imagine you, you are somebody who, like, I don't know, your sister got killed by, like, a, a person that was a rapper, and every time you go on the internet, you see people talk about free the rapper that killed your sister. You will fucking exactly. hate to go. On, you would hate to go on the internet because that's all you gonna see. Like hell, no, I don't want this nigga to ever be free. He like he fucking murdered my sister. Keep this nigga in prison exactly, bro. until he die. I don't Imagine. want Imagine exactly, bro. And I've said that. Imagine the fucking parents of the people that take K fucking mm-hmm. killed. They gotta go on. You know what I'm saying? Seeing these little niggas out here talking about some. Oh yeah, he innocent till proven. You know, what I'm like nigga. <laughs> he's telling you he's hitting the race, nigga. The same song that y'all vibing to is the same is the evidence right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like what do you here's here's the here's a fucking the sad fate of what we are going through right now. King Fawn died repping this street life because y'all wanted him to rep this street life. Like Lil Dirk once said, the nigga has still been alive, y'all, if y'all niggas didn't gas him up. The niggas out here fucking walking around. Holding their nuts, feeling like they big shit until the world slapped them in the face with reality and then they gone and then they're dead. And this sad reality of this shit is you got a motherfucker like Slim Jesus telling you guys that that all the shit he was talking about was fake. You got a nigga like Lil Tecca coming out here telling y'all that all the shit he's talking about the killing shit and the the the, the tough shit. Yeah, two twin Glocks turn you to a dancer. I think he said yeah, that shit bro. in his Gene interview. He was like, "I don't own a single gun. I just said that that shit sounds cool." Exactly. You got these motherfuckers telling y'all that the shit they're doing is not really what they're doing. They're doing it to portray something in a song, to to have a persona in a song, like my chaos culture persona. Y'all really think I'm out here telling like being this way to like sunglasses, and a bandana, and a mask on my face? Walking everywhere, talking about some, oh, shut the fuck up, blah, blah, blah. Like when I said that I was coming back with Chaos Culture, why didn't niggas actually fear and get and get on there and talk about some, I thought you were going to be positive? Like, man, Nigga, just that video because had you were like half the amount of dislikes. When I, when I followed that shit, I swear it was like 25 likes and 15 dislikes. I was like, shit. <laughs> and and Cheese had sent me yeah. the video. I was like, why this shit got so many dislikes? I seen that shit. That man talk about some. Is he peep uh, culture new video? You're like, oh, he well, was like, oh, you gotta watch it. It's like, why is there so many dislikes? You gotta watch it and see. Like, yeah. what you mean by that? You gotta watch <laughs> it and see. What? That tells me I, that, that exposed one of the dislikes. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, you definitely gotta I'm, get into the identity thing, too, about, uh, God, I definitely wanna get into what Noor has said about how he was like, I feel like culture is just a negative person that's trying too hard to be positive. We definitely gotta talk about that. Oh yeah, for sure. Keep it, keep that shit in mind because I definitely have an answer for that. But for sure. um, uh, you have a guy, you have these slim Jesus, these little techas out here that's telling you that they're faking it, and y'all are hating these people for actually fucking faking it and actually fucking, you know, oh, oh, you're playing it safe. 
You're uh, you got these people that are making good music. Like Slim Jesus can actually rap. I heard his shit. He can actually fucking rap. Lil Ticka can actually fucking rap. He actually makes pretty good fucking music. He's good. He's good. I don't need to fucking say that he's good. He has a fucking Billboard hit. Never left. He has. He has a. He has a. Yeah, bro. He has a. He has a hit. He's legit. You have fucking rappers out here who are telling you how many of these rappers out here that have told you they've done raw shit haven't been to jail yet. Gucci Mane talked about killing Jeezy, whole homie, went to prison. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Every, every nigga out here that's repping that street life, how many of them, that, like, the niggas that learn how to survive and adapt, niggas like 50 Cent who was living that hood life and turned around and became a CEO for Vitamin Water. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, doing movies, being an executive producer for, for hit reality TV shows. Um, Snoop Dogg goes from a, a, a gangster to a fucking a gamer and a, a TV reality show host. These are gangsters that know they can still be street and know they can still be hood all the while chasing the bag the right way. Those guys are going to live for way longer than these younger guys out here that are fucking because they're more a lot more belligerent with this shit because they're out here actively looking for their fucking their 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 ops their mm-hmm. opponents they're actively out here searching king vaughn died searching for his opponent so he found uh quando rondo it's Black actually King. crazy that the video of that nigga's death is like you can just find that shit online bro like the video yeah. of homeboy that quando quando's homeboy that shot him and he just fell to the street, and that you could just go watch that shit right now. It's actually crazy. Yeah, it's kind of fucked. This is. You can see the video of X fucking head hanging out the fucking window after someone shot him. Like this, the this same you know thing. What I'm with, um, same thing with Left Eye too. Left Eye from TLC. She had died in the car crash. Like yeah. she had, she had crashed when she was in the middle of filming like some type of documentary she was doing whatever while she was on uh, on vacation like that. That video is all on the internet. You can just go watch the car crash that happened that killed her. Like stuff like that, I would never watch because that shit is like terrifying to even think about. But the fact that it exists, then you yeah. can just go look that shit up if you felt like it. it's crazy. That shit's sad, bro. And people will go and watch that. And then, you know what I'm saying? Like people like controversy, people like drama, people like, you know what I'm saying? Fucked up events happening. It's just, it's just what makes the media turn and spin and go wrong, live longer. So I legitimately feel bad for all these fans because they have to go through life knowing that if you're a fan of a 6ix9ine, you know he's not going to stay out of prison and or live forever because he's a walking fucking target now. If y'all expect 6ix9ine to live forever, I'm not jinxing him like I jinxed King Vaughn, apparently, how some people said, oh, you, you say him the reason why. Uh, that that time it was too perfect. Like, come on. <laughs> he did die a day after. That shit was kind of fucking wild. But um <clears throat> six nine for you know what I'm saying that man is not gonna live forever. That man is definitely gonna meet his match. Somebody's going to pull up on six nine, lacking, living life, and is going to end his life. It's, it's messed exactly up as this how it's may sound. It messed up as this may sound. I'm actually very surprised that hasn't happened yet. He got some dog ass security around him for him to not have been like caught lacking. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, he he is definitely overliving his. He's definitely over. <laughs> he overstayed his welcome on Earth. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro! He's the Grim Reaper keep missing his ass, like, bro. He's he's yeah, dude. Like, yo, you don't keep playing with. And then uh, that's another question. Um. I had this co- this conversation with my cousin once, and he was like, Six Nine's alive because everyone he's fucking with isn't really a gangster. Now, you fuck with guys like Trippy Red, and I'm real with y'all, man. That Trippy Red, you talk about being in bloods and shit. So stop it. <laughs> stop it, bro. Stop. Six it. Nine was fucking yeah. with Lil Reese, too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was fucking Lil Reese. You see what happened to Lil Reese. Like everyone that everyone that happened just so happened to fuck with Six Nine winds up getting fucked up. Like something crazy <laughs> fucking happens. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, you know, Lil Reese trying to break into cars and shit, get your ass faded. But you think what you about to what you what you about to pull up on six nine and do what? Like, nigga, without your gun, you got handled by some dude. That's fucked up. I mean, I feel bad for Reese because goddamn, 
I mean, but then again, he pulled up on them. So it's like, nigga, you got you, you ass, you wanted a car. Shit. <laughs> you got your ass rolled that day. Fucking. And like, I, mean, I swear that nigga had ass, money. But, like, what you doing rapping niggas for car, bro? Like, don't you got money? Yeah, bro. Like, what are you <laughs> like doing? God damn. Like, the fuck? Like, damn. Like, fucking Chicago rough. I would have thought it was like, like, unknown rapper people don't like don't know about. I saw Lil Reese. I'm like, don't you got money to buy multiple cars? Fuck you doing robbing people. I'm saying, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> don't you know like half the fucking Chicago drill rappers? Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? Like, go hit up Chief Keith and go fuck, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Uh, maybe he don't got money or right? something like that. But it's just sad that we live in a society now that negativity is where all the attention is at and negativity gets heavily praised and gets all this shine and shit. And they talk about some just beat up this nigga yesterday. Oh, blah, blah, blah. it'd be niggas in the comments section talk about. So this nigga menace to society. Oh shit. Black air force energy. Oh, Oh, you on that demon time, blah, blah, blah. Like niggas just eat this shit up. Like it's a fucking new episode to a TV show. It's like, Oh, who, 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 who will he beat up next? Who will be the next fucking, uh, whore? And in and, and Hollywood to inevitably get pregnant by some motherfucker that they're not gonna stay with. Who who's gonna who's the next nigga sweetie's about to fuck? Like uh, this is the shit that people clamor for the answers for. And it's like, nigga, why? Why? I don't why know if this is death? I don't I don't know if this is where you was about to go with this, but one thing I do personally hate that people bring up is when um like people like bring up real life situations when something in the entertainment world happens, like uh like for example, like a rapper, like like I don't know, let's just use Lil Reese shit. A nigga like Lil Reese uh getting his ass people trying to rob a car. Like it was, it was it's some people that would comment on something like that, but you guys care about this rapper trying to rob somebody for his car, but there's little kids in Africa that's starving. <laughs> it's like bro, shut the, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, that, that's hey, what I nigga, you we can't with fix that. all the fucking problems. But like, I can't stand. Like, I, I can't even say that fool since I'm laughing. I can't stand when people say that shit. Like, oh, uh, you you'll read an article about uh, Nicki Minaj and like uh, her her newborn son doing this, but you won't donate to charity. I'm like, bro, like that's a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. Some shit. You, they guilt trip you to doing that shit. Name and doing it for damn self. <laughs> Fucking. That, that's what it is. Like, guilt trip the fuck out of you, bro. You could be doing anything. <laughs> like, oh, you can listen to the J. Cole album, but you can't come to the visit to the animal shelter. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, the fuck, nigga? Like, fuck that. Pull up to a <laughs> comment <animal> section. <laughs> yeah, bro. Can't give my fucking two cents without fucking having a fucking uh, damn uh, a brochure get sent to me talking about some support or you're a bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, nigga. I hate, <laughs> but I swear, good, I hate all people who, um, who, like, who talk like that? They bring up like, like actual world problems and like when people are talking about when people just trying to have fun or just talk about like just some trivial shit and you bring some real world shit into it. I hate people like that. I can't stand motherfuckers like that, fucking buzzkill ass niggas. But yeah, um, buzzkill definitely. But it's like, bro, I'm just <laughs> I'm just chilling right now, just on the internet browsing. And you bring us some real world tragedies into this shit. I know, right. <laughs> Especially the Africa shit, nigga. That shit is crazy. <laughs> you sitting like on Twitter, some... you sitting on Twitter bullshitting, but you don't want to go visit the Holocaust Museum. It's like what, nigga? <laughs> like, bro, shut the fuck Wait, up. What? Right? God damn. Are you at the Holocaust what? Museum? I'm sure, I'm sure you're not. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga tweeting that shit while he feeding the fucking uh, the starving fucking dogs and shit. Like, nigga, oh, look who's talking, nigga. <laughs> At least they beat theirs. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, my dog. Shit, my dogs eat more than me sometimes. Shit, if someone he getting fucking donated to is me. Lucky. In the arms of you. That's the first one I thought about. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even gonna see my dogs. You about to see me on my bed, fucking fat as fuck, <laughs> with, I mean, with an empty bag of chips, talking about some shit. Nigga, I'm too, <laughs> too <laughs> I'm too lazy to go to the store and get some more. <laughs> So if you could donate, <laughs> shit. oh shit! 